far, Steam doesn't seem to like this beta. It stands at a mostly negative, and considering the fact that I've streamed this game twice now, and both times I had major issues to the point where I can't even use the two other streams, uh, I just decided, fuck it, I'll start over. I'm going to be as kind to this game as I can possibly be. So we're starting with the new mode War. As you can see, I've played about three matches. And I have played with uh, some of the divisions here. Now, the War mode is similar to the Overwatch Objectives mode. In that you take turns in attacking and defending an objective. And the objectives can be mobile or they could be... A gimmick like constructing things or whatever. Uh, I w initially compared it to the Battlefield 1 operations mode but that would not be fair because like Overwatch this is a far smaller scale. So now we're on the defend. We're gonna defend the have to defend the command post. And defend the command post soldier. This is basically the game so far. Right now, I'm not moving quickly enough. I should be, really be moving quicker and stand by to defend the MG position. But like any attack or defend mode, sometimes the entire thing just turns into one big grind fest. And I, ha I can't really... I can't really say how the game has gone so far, but so far we seem to be holding our ground fairly well. Now, there are stationary weapons like this, and we died. So, apparently, they managed to get a foothold, and they killed us. Now, the good thing about Call of Duty is that Call of Duty is more like an arcade style, uh, rather than the more realistic style of maybe Battlefield or Rainbow Six or similar like that. You always get back into the action very quickly. So, they took the first one. Now... They have copied several good ideas from the battle Battlefield 1, the bayonet charge being one of them. Apparently we held it just to the, to the skin of our teeth here. Ouch. And I have to be the first one to admit that I'm not very good at the Call of Duty style gameplay. Okay, so now we need to halt the bridge. Yeah, we don't want them to build that bridge. In fact, we want them not to. Okay, so we got our first kill of the game. Let's keep it up. Keep up the fire. And this one kill got us a bunch of medals for some ungodly reason. I'm not really fond of this entire let's spam, let's spam with medals thing. Because the problem with the spam with medals gimmick is that... Ooh, sweet. A flamethrower. Let's see if how far we can get with this thing. Yeah, I'm worried. dead. Not really anything else what I expected, but hey. So we need to prevent the enemy from completing the bridge, and the best way to do that is shooting. Now, as I said, most people have Let been giving this game a negative on Steam, and the thing is, I can't have understand why. Because I don't see the innovation other people talk about. I wish I did, because I'm a fan of the older Call of Duty games. Call of Duty 1, Call of Duty 2, uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 1 and 2. Hell, I even enjoyed Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 is, in my opinion, one of the games that has one of the best adaptive stories, meaning that Call of Duty 2 knew how a story should adapt to uh, 
let me start that over. Uh, I've got a bit distracted by all this sniping here. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 knew exactly how to make a story that actually can be adapted to your choices. Call of Duty Black Ops 2 was a perfect, not okay, perfect is oh, not what it was, but it was good at making your choices matter because your choices, even the seemingly smaller ones, had an outcome when it came to if you would get the perfect ending or not. And that is how it should work. I mean, I mean I'm left. currently playing Telltale's Game of Thrones, and Telltale's Game of Thrones is fucking horrible in that regard. In Telltale's Game of Thrones, you don't feel like your choices matter at all. I mean, it doesn't feel like they matter a single moment. But in Black Ops 2, they succeeded with that. Never mind the fact that Black Ops 2 that was was not the kind of multiplayer game I played, but I, I don't have a problem with the kind of single player game it is. So they threw a couple of grenades, meaning, and I, gr I grabbed the right. Oh. <laughs> it's actually kind of relieving that dying doesn't really matter in this game. Well, it does matter in the fact that we need to prevent them. It, I don't mind the fact that we can basically just throw our lives at them and. Yeah, and we actually held them. Now our reinforcements are here. Sweet. So we got reinforcements, we held the enemy, and for some reason... Okay, we shot down one B-17. We held the entire area so that a couple of flat guns could shoot down one B-17. Okay, so right now we have the standard loadouts here. Right now, I have airborne, I have infantry, I have trench gun. We're gonna continue with infantry since that is the best. Okay, this was this is kind of nice. I mean, we have this little intro scene where we jump off the truck and everything like that. This is actually kind of neat. This is well done, well done. You put some perspective into the combat we're about to fight. And then you have this little command voice. This is the first time I'm playing this operation in Over there. in as an attacker, by the way. So this this is going to be interesting. Oh, apparently there's a bit of a secret tunnel here. I really. And. Okay, so we got we are actually gonna switch to airborne and the grease gun. Mostly because I feel it fits more with what we're about to do. I mean we are the attackers this round. And we are the US infantry, so of course I should really should be having the grease gun. Oh come on! That was just annoying. I clearly got the guy, but the grease gun doesn't do as much damage as the other guns I'm more used to, so. Now, if he's any smart, he's actually up there, waiting for me, but he's not, so we'll just... Oh, crap. Let's just switch to Russian SMG, the P... I'm not even sure how you're supposed to pronounce that, but why do don't I have a drum mag for it? Or is this the 33 version? Ah, never mind. Yeah, I am sticking to the objective, and I'm doing that by trying to flank the enemy, you ungrateful fucking... Ah, seriously, if you're gonna make an objective mode like this, make sure I can actually flank the enemy, because I want to be able to flank the enemy. I shouldn't have to run onto the enemy head on. Seriously, I mean, you even made a tunnel there, so I could, so I actually could flank. No, never mind. Can go down and we'll continue onwards. Okay, so now we need to build a bridge. Building the bridge is pretty much up to. 
to close people like me, but we are gonna switch again to the M51. Or M41. Tango down, keep it up. Is that guy some kind of idiot? I mean, why would you... I don't know what I just threw, but... We got an assist for covering fire at the very least, so that's nice. Okay, so let's take cover. Some, someone else got that guy. But we need to suppress the MG nests while other build the bridge. So we got a headshot at least. Sweet. Let's keep it moving. And I died. I'm not really surprised about the fact that I died because Call of Duty is halfway about dying. I don't even know if we have enough people who actually try to build the actual bridge. And that is the problem. I think we really should just throw out a lot of smoke. I don't know if... I think that's a smoke. No. That could have been a smoke grenade or it could be some kind of flashbang. And if it is a flashbang, then I have to wonder what the fuck is a flashbang doing in World War II. Okay, so... Prone is... Okay, so... And we got killed. Now, this is actually a kind of neat feature, because it forces a bit of team play where some people are suppressing and other people need to actually expose themselves. This is the... And it's, it's going to be tricky to just push over. And if they push over to our side, then... I actually did not check my score there. I just wanted to check if that was some kind of asshole from... ...from CSGO Lotto. But it apparently it was CS Ghetto, and that might just be the same thing, come to think of it. I don't think we're gonna make it. I think we might actually die on this entire trying to build. Oh, come on! I must have got that guy. I don't know how much time we got left for. And we're done. Yeah, there's no... We have 10 seconds left. And we are not going to be able to build the bridge in that time. We're not even going to be able to continue building the bridge. We lost. German reinforcements got here before we could build the bridge. Okay, so the bridge is ver a very tricky thing, but we're gonna see if there's another another round of this. If there's not another round, we'll just jump to team deathmatch and talk a bit about that but until that point I think we are going to continue with now nah, we got returned to lobby so we're heading into the team deathmatch um, uh, I didn't get first place in fact I think I'm somewhere down here At least we got a promotion and a rank up, so we're technician 5th grade now. So, I got an unlock left, and let's see if we got some more airborne stuff. We didn't? Nope. So, 9 kills, 9 kills. At least we're consistent. Uh, however, we I don't think we actually got any... Uh, hello, guys. Hello, guys. No. Nice. I've actually made up my mind. We're gonna play another 
operation should break out. Hello, guys. Do you like get hospital? Hello, guys. Okay. I am counting down the days until I can return to Rainbow Six Siege. Random. Okay. Listen. Random. Listen. Fuck you, man. Let it never be said, I am not trying to introduce other cultures to the glory of the rainbow. There is a part of me that wonders what happened with Call of Duty, because before I started dying and shooting people on that fucking bridge, I was talking about how much I enjoyed Call of Duty 1, Call of Duty 2, and also that I felt that Black Ops 2 had a very good single player campaign. The story might not be the greatest, but shooter stories are usually not the best ones. So, what happened with Call of Duty? I think the fact that Call of Duty was making a terrific amount of money started to get in the way of development, meaning that Activision... Is that a red dot site? Seriously, they are making some kind of holographic s style site common on airplanes during this period and then making it into some kind of fucking red dot site. Are you fucking kidding me? That is actually one of the things I had against with in Black Ops 1. Black Ops 1 never tried to use its setting. Black Ops 1 decided that, hey, air modern military shooters are all the rage today. So we'll make Black Ops Black Ops 1 into a modern military shooter despite it not actually being modern day. Yeah, and we'll switch we'll switch to infantry so we have so we have a more decent gun to the for range. The green gun is not a ranged weapon. Not by any means stretch of the imagination. And we died again. At least you've seen me play better than this, but as long as we are buying time for the command post, it doesn't actually matter. Uh, Black Ops 2, like I said, had a perfect, perfect system where your choices mattered. And then somewhere, Call of Duty single player and multiplayer stagnated, where they wanted to do... They're assaulting the command post. I think that yeah. in the same way, and this is not going to be a popular opinion here. In the same way that Call of Duty tried to imitate Titanfall and Destiny with Infinite Warfare and stuff like that, uh, Call of Duty is now trying to go on the back of Battlefield 1. The reason I am saying this it's because it's obviously fucking true. And now a bad Call of Duty fan trust me for uttering that opinion. Now, Call of Duty has stopped being innovative. And instead of... And instead decided that they should copy... They should apply their formula... They apply their formula on the topic of the day. And Call of Duty didn't do that. Call of Duty 1 was the game that single-handedly sparked the altogether too long and, in the end, rather annoying trend that games should be about World War II. In the same way, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4 was the game that pretty much triggered the entire modern military shooter genre as we know it. And somewhere along the line, Activision and the other developers just declared creative bankruptcy and decided that they should follow the trend instead of Don't make the trend. Please tell me in chat or comments, whatever, if you think I'm wrong here. But that is, in my eyes, part of what is wrong with the modern Call of Duty games. Now, I don't actually mind the gameplay as much as you would, you would think a Battlefield 1 
or Battlefield or Rainbow Six player would, because I feel that Two minutes until our reinforcements get here. I feel that this kind of ar more or less arcade style gunplay it has its place. It can be fun at times. It's not my style of game. I am more of the tactical realism style, but I understand that people can f feel it is fun. And as you can see, Call of Duty players fail at tactics. The most basic tactic on this map is that if you want to build the bridge, you need to use smoke grenades. You need to use smoke as concealment. However, most players, even the ones at high level, like level 24 and other like that, they're just standing behind and sniping. While, and since they're sniping and not using suppressive fire from machine guns or similar, One minute left. we're gonna pick that up and use it to shoot that guy. And we got shot. <laughs> the thing is, I don't care. We don't need to care. So what we're gonna do is to see which one of our kits, left. the airborne kit here has a smoke grenade. Yeah, we're gonna switch to the airborne standard kit with the Waffen for our attack round. And we are gonna throw as many smoke grenades as we can. We're gonna go up close, we're gonna shoot the enemy, and we are gonna do so with as many smoke grenades as we can muster. We did it! We kept the enemy from building their bridge. Now our reinforcements are here. They didn't actually get anywhere on that bridge. And like I said, I think this is because Call of Duty may not be a game that premieres tactics all that much. So I don't know how used Call of Duty players are actually are to using said tactics. Now, I doesn't seem to be able to actually fix my loadouts during the entire time, so... Our mission is to destroy a battery of AA guns that's shooting down our bombers. But we have to push through enemy territory and take out those guns before crowd reinforcements arrive. Okay, so time to attack. We're using a German submachine gun for this attack, but hey, whatever works, right? Capture that command post to get intel on crowd defenses. There's hostiles in the corner. We got at least one hit, but it appears the enemy have at least decided to use that abomination of a bread gun that for some reason has a fucking drum mag. I'm not sure if there ever was a Bren gun that... Oh, crap. They're behind us. Fight for the command post. Let's see if we can't shoot him back, Attacking but I think one post. of my mates already got that guy. Down. Yep. By the way, you can play as any gender or ethnicity in this game, and this, of course, have annoyed people, because the internet is 40 years old, basically. Sniper down. Smoke him, Rico. Enemy airdrop incoming. So let's move up. Go build. We I don't think we're gonna go with the suppressor here. Out of smokes. Go, go, go. Suppressive fire. We need more suppressive fire if we're gonna make this. And we're dead.
There is one thing that matters here, and that is not dying until you've thrown your smoke grenades. Keep up a barrage of smoke grenades. Ouch. And we died before throwing our smoke grenade. That's not good. Let's see if... Oh, they're throwing grenades. Fuck it. We actually did fairly well. We got about halfway on that bridge. Keep up the suppressive fire and smoke grenades. I think that if we just can get those smoke grenades across the bridge... Ouch. We're hit. I think that now we also need to get the smoke grenades. Okay, so smoke Whoa, is that. Come on, let's build a bridge. We are Bob the Builder. I'm exposed here! That bridge is getting built. I don't care what anyone has to say about it. Smoke out! Crap! Come on, we need to get that bridge built. We can get it built. I can fix it, fix it, Felix. And at least we got our smokes out. Crap. I mean, we're trying, but it doesn't actually seem to be working. Crap. We need more fire on those houses, but I don't see really how to... Come on. We got a bit built, at least. They're just shooting in the wild against the bridge now. I got one guy, but seriously, whoever designed this mode, I'm not entirely sure they... I think they underestimated, or maybe even overestimated. Yeah, overestimated is more the right word. They overestimated the... Capacity uh, the general Call of Duty player has for tactics. And these four games have proved it. Because the general strategy of destroying that bridge are not difficult. I'm sorry, but they're not. So, what is Call of Duty good at? Well, that's what we're about to find out, aren't we? Let's just leave this lobby. Yes, we are to leave the lobby. We are to go to the divisions. See if we can get... Yeah, we can get the lens sight for the grease gun and a quick draw for that one. For this gun, we have actually unloaded, unlocked the reflex sight and the high caliber bullet. We also have the expeditionary... Yeah, we might as well unlock the sniper. And we'll unlock the Commonwealth. Now, it's not actually called the Commonwealth. That looks to me like the, uh, a Lee Enfield Mark IV, the standard issue weapon of the British Commonwealth. And I have no, I, no idea why they didn't just call it that, but uh, I think they are trying to avoid copyright issues. So, we're heading into a deathmatch now, and I'm going to say that if there's one thing Call of Duty can do right, deathmatch. Call of Duty is pretty damn good at... Yeah, so apparently we have to wait about four, 40 seconds until we can actually join this game. 
unfortunately I have that time. Uh, I'm pretty much recording this before heading off to the range. Uh, but yeah. So we're gonna play a bit of the standard issue Call of Duty Deathmatch. And like I said, this is where Call of Duty excels, but I think that may be because Call of Duty hasn't really changed this formula since Call of Duty 2. There's no reason for them to actually do that. Call of Duty Team Deathmatch is by far one of the best deathmatch experiences out there. I'm serious about that. It's not my cup of tea, but it's a cup of tea that sells well. So, we are going to... At least the game didn't crash. Uh, I actually ha have had some... Some problems with crashes, not being able to play with my friends and all like that, but... Alright, time to die. That's what deathmatch means for me. Deathmatch for me means I die. Ouch. Like I said, I die. <clears throat> I was kind of interested to see if I got a grenade kill at least, but I didn't. Please die. So far, so good. Please don't. Please don't come up after me. And I died. At least it was a decent flanking maneuver, right? That's also one of the nice things about Call of Duty multiplayer. It's usually a very good idea to flank your enemy. Now, the p what other people have been really quick to complain about is that these maps are all very tight quarters. There are <coughs> very little incentive for anyone to play with a sniper rifle. I agree. Now, that doesn't mean I disapprove. Because I don't. I'm the kind of person who enjoys <coughs> a close quarters heavy map. And I like a map where I can get my close quarters groove into full play without being interrupted by rude snipers. However, I understand that if a game wants to be... I can't find a word, but for a game to have different styles, they need to have different styles of maps where... For example, there might actually be a viable place, or at least viable places. If there's just one place, a sniper is still as useless. But as you can see here, I didn't get my grenade off in time, fuck that. Uh, snipers tend to be at a disadvantage, even if they are helped out by friends. We got an assist at least. We got one kill, but got killed by the mate. That's also a quite interesting part of deathmatch. It's not always that it's actually use. I mean, my I can take most people in a one versus one. Now you would say after seeing this that you don't agree because my aim is terrible. But I can't. I can usually not take. Two. Two people stretches my ability to properly engage. Ouch. I can't really argue about the fact that he got me because it was fair. But I think we got him back, so... We are terribly winning this match. We are in the lead. And that's good. 
Now, team deathmatch doesn't really... It doesn't matter if you win or lose a team deathmatch. People who say they... Ouch. We got an... <laughs> I was shooting inside and the entire fucking enemy team decides just to come knocking on, the, on our door. I'm not really sure if I should be complaining about the lack of weapons, but it's a beta. I don't mind a beta having few weapons, but it appears that the trend of many unlockable weapons is slowly giving ground to a few balanced class weapons or similar again. And that I like. Uh, don't get me wrong. I like the arsenals of Battlefield 4 and Bal and Call of Duty as Black Ops 2 as much as the next guy. I really like being able to pick my favorite gun out of them. But most of the guns in that game never get used. There are guns who are more popular for one reason or another. The nice thing about Team Deathmatch is that people usually don't have time to have a high attention span. Meaning that what I did there, just staying out of sight for a moment, might have meant the death of the enemy when they forgot I was there, or maybe thought I've pulled back. Because most people tend to, once a target has disappeared, uh, they don't tend to remember where the target was in the same way they might do in Battlefield 1 or... Rainbow Six Siege. Now, I want to be perfectly clear about the fact that I am not the best death, deathmatch player in the world. But I'm playing this because I feel that if I'm gonna play Call of Duty, I might as well play this. Because this is what Call of Duty is for me. Yeah, I think we're gonna double back here. Because if we have a lot of teammates there, then the fronts have switched sides again. Meaning the Germans most likely... Hey, we actually got two of them this time. And there are more enemies this in this direction. Uh, he's probably in the house behind me. No, he's not in the house behind me. Oh, come on! That was kind of annoying. I felt like I was just emptying my mag into him. Then again, there has been some complaints of lag issues. But considering my... My... Not entirely... Not entirely 100% track record when it comes to... Competence in this game mode, I'm going to give the game a benefit of doubt there. probably wrong of me to do so, but I am going to do that. So tango down, keep it moving. Sweet. Let's see if... Hello. We got a couple of kills there, so let's just... Now, let's go the other way. I'm reloading. Nice kill streak we got there. So let's clear it. Okay, so we're calling in... Ah, oh, just when I got the... Fruits of my my kills. Apparently, the game decided that some dude with a shotgun should be the guy to get the heroic service. By the armory. And lost kill for that matter. And that is going to be that. I have to prepare for my day at the range now. But. I'm not going to buy Call of Duty World War II. Apparently we did rather well. 
third place in the game. At least if I can read the scores right, and that I can. I'm not gonna buy it. I don't need to. If I want this kind of time period, I might as well continue to play and be annoyed by Battlefield 1. If I want the tactics, then I can play... Uh, yeah, third place. Sweet. Third place, third place. And we got rank up to level 10 as well. And the rank of Corporal. Sweet. The thing is, if I want to play a game like this, uh, or rather, I want to play a shooter, I don't need to play Call of Duty World War II. I'm, I have better games for that purpose. I have Rainbow Six Siege, I have Battlefield 1. I don't need Call of Duty. I'd, or rather, I don't need a new Call of Duty. Because Modern Warfare 2 scenes and Black Ops 2, I can still play those if I like. So, sorry. This is not my cup of tea. My cup of tea is Earl Grey.